Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to enable server side characters on your T-Shock Terraria server. Server side characters are characters that have their player data linked to a specific server. This includes things like health, mana, and inventory items. This means that on different servers where this option is enabled, one character can have different inventories and stats. This is very useful for public servers where you don't want overpowered characters joining and instead want them to start from the beginning. Keep in mind that you'll need to have a T-Shock server running as your server type, otherwise you won't be able to follow this tutorial. You can switch to T-Shock in the reinstall tab here. Firstly, locate where all your server files are stored. On Server Pro, this is found on your control panel under the Files tab, here on the left. Locate the T-Shock folder and here you will find a file called sscconfig.json. Open it by clicking on it. Then, all you have to do is just change one option, which is the Enable option here, to True. This will enable server-side characters on your server. There are also some other options here too, such as how often in minutes the player data is saved. Then you can change the starting health and mana, as well as give specific items to new players when joining. I'll leave a link to the T-Shock wiki in the description if you need more info. Once you enabled server-side characters, you need to restart your server for the settings to apply. Now that my server has fully restarted, I can now log in into the server and it will ask me to register if I'm a new player. As you can see here in chat, it's asking me to register and I'm gonna quickly do that. After that's done, I then need to log in and when I do, you can see that all my items and stats get reset to default. Like I mentioned previously, this is only per server and does not affect your single player character data. If you join another T-Shock server with server-side characters enabled, you will have different items that are linked to that server. Or, if you join a server that doesn't have server-side characters enabled, you will have your normal single-player character items. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any tutorial suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.